2024 coverage now of both President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump still collecting primary wins despite having enough delegates to secure the party's nominations. So for Trump, that includes a win in yesterday here in Florida. He took a majority of the vote, but former candidates Nikki Haley and Governor Ron DeSantis also securing tens of thousands of votes. Haley actually pulled in more votes than Governor DeSantis. Donald Trump casting his ballot on Palm Beach after voting with former First Lady Melania Trump. Trump spoke about his campaign staff and success in the polls. Meanwhile, President Biden had a number of campaign events addressing supporters in Nevada and Arizona, two battleground states in the November election. He was the only Democratic presidential candidate in Florida, so there was no Democratic primary here. Both Biden and Trump have both been focusing their campaigns on the general election, which is in November. New here at noon, we are getting a look at voter turnout in our area. Voting in the presidential primary remained about average, so Indian River County had the highest voter turnout. They were at about 24%. 23% of voters turned out in St. Lucie County, 22% for both Palm Beach County and Okeechobee. Martin County had 21% of voters show up to the polls. Several communities across Palm Beach County have elected new mayors, but as our Josie Carbonari reports, the candidates in Lake Worth Beach still have some work to do. Neither secured enough votes to win, and now a runoff is scheduled for next month. The race for mayor is now a runoff. That's because none of the candidates reached that 50% requirement. Now, incumbent Betty Resch was up against three other challengers. She received 48% of the vote, and since none of the candidates met the required amount of votes, that means a runoff will occur in just under two weeks. Also this morning, there was a clear winner in Wellington's mayoral election. Michael Napoleon won the race. He's been working as a council member for the village and vice mayor for the last eight years. He tells us his focus will be on public safety, education, and maintaining a responsible budget. I want to focus on making sure that whatever we do, we get it right, because that's the issue that's got a lot of residents, you know, interested in this election more so than prior ones. So I want to make sure that whatever we do, we get it right so it benefits the residents in the community, not just the developer. We're following the races very closely and we'll have all the latest both on air and online as things develop. Reporting from Lake Worth Beach, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News. Josie, thanks. Staying in northern Palm Beach County, several communities in Palm Beach County seeing the election as a win after voting down a proposal to become part of Palm Beach Gardens. Arkeo Califano is in Cabana Colony with reaction from community members. For months, signs like this one were across a number of front lawns in Cabana Colony. However, today it's a different story. That's because this community and others voted against joining Palm Beach Gardens. It was in the fall when Palm Beach Gardens offered an annexation proposal, which included five zones of the county with more than 8,300 residents. The city argued at the time the annexation was all a part of growth management by expanding the tax base and providing benefits. However, yesterday at the polls, county residents didn't buy it. In each of the zones, more than 90% of people voted that they did not want to join the city. Results even showing that in one of the zones, more than 2,300 people voted against annexation. This morning, Shana Walker, who voted no to the annexation, told us she's happy to see months of work pay off. I'm so overwhelmed with joy that this has actually not passed and we're able to stay with our status quo. Great shout out to the teams that helped us, the people that walked around with signs, the people that spread the word to their neighbors, spoke with their neighbors. I really think that this unintentionally became a community building effort. The city of Palm Beach Gardens responding this morning to the no vote, saying in part the city of Palm Beach Gardens respects the voice of the voters and the decision they have ultimately made to not join our jurisdiction. Caleb Califano, WPBF 25 News. Caleb, thanks.